Hey there, Dr. Mark here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how to price your nutrition coaching so that it actually works. If you wanna start or grow an online nutrition coaching business that actually makes money, you need to have coaching skills. You're going to need to know the science of nutrition and be able to get client results. That's a given. But do you wanna know what's even more important? This is the part that most coaches overlook, and to be completely honest, this is the reason why four out of five online nutrition coaches do not get to year two in their businesses. But you're here, so it's pretty obvious you're not one of those coaches. If you wanna create a profitable online nutrition coaching business that stands the test of time, you need to develop business skills. There's a reason why the Dr. Mark Method Nutrition Coaching Program pumps out so many successful graduates. Because unlike other nutrition certification programs that give you a basic background on the science of nutrition, but leave you completely clueless on what to do next, we put everything into action so you can build a profitable online nutrition coaching business. And actually the first thing we do to develop our business skills is teach you exactly how to set the perfect price for your nutrition coaching offer. A nutrition coaching offer is essentially how you deliver your service. What kind of access do people get? What do they get? And how much does it cost? The major key here is making sure that your offer lines up with your skills, your knowledge, and your situation. When nutrition coaches struggle, it's because these things are not aligned. With that in mind, let me teach you about the three types of nutrition coaching offers so you get a better understanding of what the right situation is for you. The first type of offer is a low ticket offer, which is typically less than $100 for a one-time payment or per month. A low ticket nutrition coaching offer typically comes in the form of some sort of low cost membership or an informational product like an ebook. It generally takes more time up front to develop, but afterwards, since it doesn't have a true coaching component, it's not gonna take as much of your time. Here are the pros of a low ticket offer. If you're strapped for time and you have above average communication skills, meaning you're good on video and you're good at writing, you can put one of these offers together and make money while you sleep. Additionally, with the right social media content and sales page, you can sell this offer without having to talk to anyone. Now, this all sounds pretty good, right? But there are cons, and let's talk about them. Given the low price point, these type of offers tend to attract the type of clients that don't th take things too seriously. This means the product itself produces less results, and you're going to have less testimonial content. And to be completely honest, there aren't many good examples of low-ticket nutrition coaching offers that actually work, because it makes absolutely no sense to individualize the approach at this price point. Additionally, since it's not your time to get on a sales call to sell this product, sales conversions are lower. This is best suited for coaches with a large social media following, think influencers, or if you want to go down the automated coaching route, which I don't think you should do because there's tons of power in human to human connection. So check out the next offer. I'm not sure if you're doing the math, but you need to sell a lot of $30 and $50 low ticket offers to make this a full time income. And this is where most new nutrition coaches go wrong. It's not the right offer for them. You got into this, and this is something I say confidently because I've seen it so many times you got into this stuff because you're passionate about nutrition and fitness it's changed your life you want to share that with others in the same way that it's changed you I totally get that you're passionate about it and what that usually means is that you kind of feel wrong charging for your services or charging more for your services you're starting to think who am I to charge more for this I need to do it because I love it or what will people think or I'm not experienced enough that's the wrong way to go about it and what most people start to think is that they see other people big people in the space you know doing these low ticket offers and not charging very much but not seeing that they have you know thousands of people doing them they have social proof baked into their stuff they have tons of people tons of eyes on them it, it works for them it's not going to work for most new nutrition coaches and what tends to happen is that you do a low ticket offer you end up doing some sort of individualized coaching anyway it takes too way too much of your time and you end up getting burnt out and resentful so don't go down this path unless you have a large following and it makes sense and you're a really strong communicator those are the reasons why you should go down that what, but what you really should do is check out this next offer. And the second offer is a medium ticket offer, which is typically between $150 to $300 per month. The medium ticket offer is the most popular offer in nutrition coaching for a reason. With the right social media content and delivery, coaches of varying skill level and experience level can sell it, and the average client can afford it, so it's a win-win. The delivery comes in the form of an individual nutrition coaching plan with weekly check-ins and adjustments. Starting up with a client, which some people will call the client onboarding process, does take a little bit longer typically about uh, an hour compared to weekly check-ins, which are closer to 15 minutes. But once you're rolling and you have a better idea of your client and who they are and what they're trying to accomplish, it should take less time, something like 10 minutes per week. The average client will work with you for four to six months, but it's not completely uncommon or unheard of for someone to work with you for up to five years, even after their long-term goals have been achieved. Let's talk about some of the pros of this approach. Number one, unlike the low ticket offer, an individualized approach will always produce superior results for your clients. You can create this offer without a website or a sales page, but you're gonna to wanna to dialed in assessment process in order to convert the sale. 
One thing I've noticed over the years is that most people don't need to get on a sales call for a coaching service that's less than $300 a month, but it could be helpful. Additionally, although you'll have better success if you niche down your coaching offer, you don't necessarily have to with this medium ticket offer. Overall, this is a very simple and time effective process, but just like anything else, there are cons. Let's talk about them. With some simple math, you'll realize that you're gonna need around 25 to 50 clients that pay $200 a month or above to get to those five to 10K months, which for most is gonna be around full-time income. As you can imagine, and that's a lot of clients and coaching to manage. Without the right expectations and boundaries in place, this is where a lot of good coaches have a tendency to burn out. Since the price point is affordable here, you're gonna get a lot of experience as a coach. Since most people can afford you, you're gonna be able to see different scenarios and get more reps in and see more experience. This is one of the best ways to improve at your coaching. With this offer, you'll create a fantastic life for yourself and help a bunch of people, but keep in mind, no one is getting posed in front of a Lambo rich unless they're gonna build an actual coaching team and service hundreds of clients at this offer. The final notes here is this is where most coaches should start. There's a big reason why we push most Dr. Mark Method coaches in this direction because it sets you up for success. I've seen so many coaches that are unsure of where they should go and if they should do group coaching and if they should do a low ticket offer, mainly because they're not confident in their services and they're not confident in their ability to sell. Creating a medium ticket offer where you get experience, you can learn to sell it, you get some reps in and you change, people li change people's lives will help you develop the confidence that you can take this to the next level. You don't need a huge social media following to pull this off and you're gonna develop the experience and reps to become an excellent coach. And you absolutely cannot skip this part. And lastly, we have the high ticket offer which is charging anywhere between 500 to $1,000 per month. Scientific studies have shown that at any given time, nutrition coaches have anywhere between five to nine online business coaches in their DMs telling them they can walk on water using a high ticket offer. Ironically, they will also be selling this process through a high ticket offer. Obviously, if these numbers jump out at you, it's because there's a lot of money being involved and the stakes are high. But something funny happens when someone invests a lot of money into a coaching product. Time and time again, it works out better for them. Let's talk about the pros of a high ticket approach. And since you'll only be able to sign so many high ticket clients, you're gonna have tons of time to deliver them a great service and great results. And since there's more time, you'll probably have a better work-life balance too. Additionally, since people pay for results and not necessarily for the service, good coaches can make great money in a fraction of the time. Since your clients are so invested, they're much more willing to do the work, which means they're gonna get great results which obviously is gonna make you look a lot better. But there are some cons to this approach. Obviously, people are paying a mortgage level cost for this type of service, so the stakes are really, really high. And also, this may be a pro for some, but you're not gonna be able to sign these type of clients without getting on a sales call with them and working on your sales skills. My final word of advice around high-level ticket offers is that this type of service is best suited for experienced coaches or expert coaches teaching other coaches. Phew, congrats on making it through that one. There's obviously lots to think about when it comes to setting the perfect price for your online nutrition coaching offer. And as great as all these tips are though, if you're really serious about starting an online nutrition coaching business, what you're going to want to do next is check out this next video I've lined up on how to set macronutrient targets as an online nutrition coach. So make sure to check that out and we'll see you in the next one.